All right, this is a quick video to go over some of the basic adjustments that we can do in the develop tab um, or module and some important tools to be looking at and thinking about there. We'll of course be going over all of this in much, much more detail as the term progresses, but this will get you started. Um, over here on the left-hand side, um, well, first off, I've pulled up an image here that I've done some work to, um, actually quite a bit of work to. And here in the history tab on the left hand side, I can see all of the work that I've done. And this is one of the things I really find powerful about Lightroom is that it will log all of my history for me and I can come back a time and time again and undo the work that I've already done. So nothing is written permanently here. So for instance, this was my original image here um, and it had uh, quite a few problems and some things about it that I didn't really like. And then I was able to turn it into this, which I like quite a bit more. So I've cropped it, I've adjusted the color, I've warmed it up. Um, I did some dodging, and, uh, I didn't do any dodging and burning to this one, um, but I did to this one here. Dodging and burning just being selectively darkening and lightening an area. And so this image here, um, it's the same exact file, but it's had um, a different crop applied to it and it's got a split tone to give it a very kind of old old look to it. I made this image using a neutral density filter on my camera so I was able to create a eight second exposure out in the middle of the day. Um, I'm mostly happy with the results um, but I feel like it could have used some more work. Um, all right, so we have our history panel over here on the side, and of course this lets us go back and go to um, the beginning, and we can actually see as we scroll over a preview on the upper left-hand side there of what we're doing. Let's get over here to the right-hand side. Um, I'm going to go to this image. Okay, so this image here right hand side this has got a histogram the histogram shows us a graphical representation of all of our light values from black all the way over to white okay so it's a very useful way of um, visualizing our exposure we can also change our exposure by dragging different parts of the histogram around um, and adjust what that looks like Okay, and you can see there that will blow things out or block things up. All right, very handy thing with Lightroom. We can go back here to history or we could do Command Z and it will undo those steps that we just did and get us back to where we were. So that's our histogram. We'll be talking more and more about this as we go. Um, through the term, but this is a very important tool and you need to understand how it's used and how what it represents um, by the end of the course. All right, so here we're able to adjust our profile. Uh, right now it's set to Adobe Color. This is a new feature in Lightroom Classic and it makes it actually easier now to get into like what the original camera um, color modes are and uh, it causes Lightroom to process that image differently. Um, I'm not a big fan of Adobe standard color, so I like to find that camera neutral um, profile. This tool used to be buried way down at the bottom. We have our slider here for controlling white balance. And remember, since we're shooting in RAW, we can adjust this after the fact on the fly really easily. We can adjust our exposure here a little bit. I was shooting with a really heavy filter. It was hard to figure out exactly what my exposure should be. Um, this is the first time using that filter, and so I'm not surprised that I'm making kind of a course adjustment here while I get used to things. Um, highlights is going to adjust the very brightest parts of our image, um, and along with whites. So those are going to be our brightest points there. Um, blacks is going to adjust the darkest points in our photographs. I kind of like that actually, it's kind of moody. And then shadows is going to brighten up those dark areas, but not our blacks, okay? So, there we go. 
We have presence to adjust texture clarity and dehaze, and then vibrance and saturation. Vibrance is a little more subtle. Saturation is much more uh, punchy. I'm going to turn our white balance down. It's just too warm. There we go. I like that better. We have a tone curve then for adjusting subtle parts of our photograph and sort of what the contrast range is going to be there. And we can add a preset if we want to, and then it adds those points. Those points could all be adjusted then individually too, like this. Starting to get a very um, interesting feeling going on in here. Here's our split toning for that photo that I did over here. I'll show you what I did with split toning. I added some color to the highlights and I've added some color to the shadows and I can adjust the saturation of both. And this is kind of a slow, slower screen here, so, but there you go. It's adding tons of saturation there to the blue. And then of course I can just press Command Z and undo that really easily. Um, all of our sharpening tools are here and then our lens correction. We'll get into lens correction a little bit later in the term, but um, it will it's a very, very useful tool and I recommend you checking that out in the book and looking at what we can do with that. Um, we also have transform for pushing things upright and then effects we can add a vignette to our image really easily. I do have to say that I like the vignette tool a lot in uh, oh that looks cool in Lightroom. I think it's really, really highly effective. Also add some grain here. So if we zoomed in and then we turn up the grain a little bit. All right, so those are some basic tools there in the uh, development uh, develop tool. Things you want to be thinking about. Um, really, your main things are going to all happen there in basic. We'll get more into these advanced features down below. Remember, history allows you to walk backwards really easily. And presets um, are basically just built-in presets into Lightroom. So if you're not sure where to start with a photo, sometimes that's a great way to kind of start it's a lot like those Instagram filters that you see uh, built into Instagram. And then snapshots allow us to um, take a snapshot of an image, and then if we want to come back to this um, at some point, we can. We can adjust it. All right, let me know if you got questions on this, and uh, thanks for checking it out.